Alright guys, now you probably have been waiting for this tutorial forever, and you're probably all just stuffing your faces with turkey right now, but while you're doing that, I'm just going to upload this, because this is going to be a major video. On the Facebook page, I have been asked to make a tutorial on how I make my videos. Now, I'm not just going to make my videos here, I'm going to also show you how I make my game videos and how I record the screen. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how I make my game videos first. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is lead you to a program called Fraps. It's going to look like this right here. And yes, it will be included, the full version, in the description. You don't have to do anything at all except for download it. And it's already registered. As you can see, the most updated version I can get right now is this. Which is not so bad, really. But anyhow, this Fraps is can control or... Uh, Fraps can record anything you're doing on your computer. Not recording the screen, but re can record any game. So if, if I was running an emulator, for an example, I would just, you know, press the uh, the shortcut for movies, and it would record. Now, this is how this program works. Click, first thing you have to do is click the folder to save the movies in. If you want to change that, I already set mine up. If you want to change that, click change, and click any directory on your computer that you want to save the videos in. Second thing you do, there's something here that says sound capture settings. Record Windows 7 sound, basically that's what it is. If you have a mic built in your computer, you can check on or off whether you want to record sound while you're uh, recording the screen or not. If you click that off, you're not going to record any sound from the game you're recording or from your mic at all. Uh, there's another option here that says hide mouse cursor in video. I highly sh suggest you check that one off because while you're recording, your mouse is not going to show up. And you don't have to lock your frame rate. You can play with your settings, whichever is best for you and your emulator. But these are my settings. I pushed, uh, I put my frame rate at 60 frames per second because my computer can handle it. If not, then 50 and 30, they're really not that bad. And I also recommend full size because that captures your whole entire screen. As far as video capture hotkey, this is basically what button you push in order to enable recording. Since my Camtasia is F9, I automatically got programmed to push F9 whenever I want to record something. So you can, you can push anything you want, F8, H, any button on your keyboard, just push it and that'll become the button that starts recording as soon as you open Fraps. Now as far as screenshots, uh, this is basically just still images. I put mine at F10, and again, you're going to do the same thing in the videos. Just right here, click the folder you want to put the images in when you capture them. Pick your format. I always recommend JPEG. And your video hotkey, which I just covered. Alright, so the second thing I wanted to go over when it comes to fraps is you can't, like I said before, you don't just record emulators, you can record anything. Even if you're opening up a Windows Media, you can record that. I'm playing the game RuneScape here, this is how I made my RuneScape tutorial. And as you can see, if you can see it over here where my mouse is, there is a counter. That is basically the frames per second. And when it's red, that means it's recording. When it's yellow, that means you still didn't push your hotkey to record. And it's kind of lagging. I'm not really sure how this footage will come out, but uh, but this is just one thing you can do with Fraps. Right after I recorded the RuneScape footage, as you can see, I saved it in the game videos file. I'm just going to open that file up, and there is the Fraps recording. I'm playing it while I'm recording the screen. And as you can see, it recorded my voice talking. And even when I'm viewing just the game recorded, you can see the frame rate. I'm just going to mute this. You can see the frame rate going on still, which means that even if you have a Windows Media open, Fraps will record that. Um, I hope that explains how the program works, because Fraps is just a little strange. But what I'm recording the screen with now is uh, Camtasia. Please note that there is a difference. Mind you, when I actually record the footage with Fraps, 
uh, the frame rate will not appear in your final video. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Now the third part about recording with this is finally what you've all been waiting for. Recording with the emulator. I have fraps open. I could just minimize it because it'll record even when it's minimized. I'm going to open up my emulator. File. Run ISO as usual. Really. Okay. Uh, right. Final Fantasy Nine. As you can see, the frame rate is in the right. It's yellow because I'm not recording it. I'm only recording with Camtasia. Turn this down. I'm only recording with Camtasia, so the frame rate's gonna appear. But you're if you're recording the game only with Fraps. It, the frame rate is not gonna appear. And I'm just gonna wait a minute for the footage to uh, start playing. There we go. Again, keep in mind that I'm recording this with Fraps, and I will show you the quality in just a second. Alright, headed to the game vids folder to see how the recording of the emulator looks like. Opening that up. And as you can see, if you full screen it, it is completely HD. Good quality. And that's just from Fraps, so... This is the fourth part of the tutorial, which is kind of the fun part because you're almost done. It's exporting the videos, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, right after you capture a video from Fraps, you're gonna have to put it on YouTube somehow, and the bad part about Fraps is that even with the full version, when you record with it, your thing kind of splits the videos into a million pieces, so you're going to have to combine those videos to one, also known as compressing them. Alright, so this is going to be a new software called Cyberlink Power Director. When you do download it uh, before you install or before you put the serial number, I highly recommend you try it first, like use the trial. Anyways, when you open it up, it's going to look like this. It's, it's a pretty great program that uh, exports in HD very easily and I'll show you why. Click on this folder right here, import media. Import media files or you can import the whole folder if you want. So we have these two things. Whoop. Not what I wanted to do. Alright. You're gonna select the both of those, click open and it'll import them right here. To use those in the actual f film, just drag that down here. And drag this down here because you want to use that as well. It's really awesome. Right after you drag your videos, you can go ahead and edit things. I mean, if you. It, I can do another separate tutorial on how to use the software later. But for the sake of time, just click on split or if you want to split things and there are other really cool effects in this program but again back to the exporting in HD click on produce up here and once you do that there's something called YouTube ready and then it's gonna say your you're gonna type in your username and your password of YouTube here now when it comes to this you have many options full HD quality which is 1080i the highest or 720 just for the sake of time I'm gonna click on 720 which is still HD uh, test. test. Put up your video category, gaming. Uh, right. And again, you can adjust your tags later. And then after you're done editing, pick out your quality, everything like that, just click on start. And that'll start producing, oh, of course. And that'll start producing your video to YouTube. And I'm going to record again right after this uploads. So after it's done producing the movie, which basically means that it saves the project that you were working on onto your computer, it says upload video, which is basically uploading to YouTube all by itself without having you to worry about it. Of course, you can edit your videos again once you go back to YouTube, but again, it's doing that all on its own without you having to rumble through YouTube and upload it yourself. 
Alright, since it's done producing the video, it uploaded it to my YouTube channel. And here's how it looks like when I put it on 720p. Again, right after recording from Fraps. The footage is actually not bad, and for the RuneScape tutorial, or for the RuneScape footage, it didn't actually come pixelated. It just came out like that, all nice and HD-ish. So, that is basically how I make my movies. There is almost nothing really to it. Uh, I hope this uh, knowledge is good for you, and I hope you do something with it. Again, you don't have to use this to record games, but... These softwares are here for you to use, so is the internet. Do with it what you will, and have a very happy and full Thanksgiving.